welcome to my new home. I am at home and it's so awesome. I finally have my own room. And in lieu of the back to school season, I actually want to take you along with me so I can show you what I have done to my room to go ahead and make it budget friendly, simple, clean and easy for anyone going back to school into their new dorms to just you know, decorate. And one wonderful thing is that this video is actually sponsored by Walmart. So thank you Walmart so much for this opportunity. I actually live about a mile away from a Walmart. So I definitely use all of their options, whether it's shopping online, shopping in store, shopping online and doing in store pickup, and also using their Walmart app, which has been so convenient for me because I mean, I'm right here and there are some things where I'm just like, I'm too lazy to go out right now. I just want to eat dinner and then go pick it up later because the Walmart I live next to is actually a 24 hour superstore which is awesome and yeah so if you would like please come along and I will go ahead and show you some of my bedroom things. <laughs> One of the great ways to be money and space conscious um, for making a headboard is actually having a curtain. So I got this really simple sheer white one and it's really pretty and I got um, this curtain rod and I just put it up with some fairy lights and to put it up so that I don't put any holes in the wall I actually use command hooks which I got from Walmart and that's awesome because command hooks come off easily and they don't ruin the walls so that's perfect for a dorm room. Um, so that's how it looks. And moving on. So number two is I would actually um, invest in a shelf that is very good for um, basically storage as well as putting things on top and looking nice. Um, I just got this really simple shelf. So right here you see I have my belts, I have my Bible, my organizer, and um, a little amenities kit for when I was able to travel first class. I have a candle, my lighter for my candle, and also a Bluetooth speaker in there. And on top I just have my beauty items, some knickknacks right here, and then I have this really cool um, table lamp, and that's about it. So moving on. So next up we have my bed which is one of my favorite places to be at except for right now because if you see that little lump over there that's actually my blankets hiding my laptop and my charging phone just for aesthetic purposes. Um, but basically I love my bed because it's my bed. And one of the things that I really learned was definitely find a company that will deliver your bed. And for me, that was Walmart. I'm a five foot one girl, almost five foot one, and there's no way that I can carry any package that needs the size of these pieces. And they were able to deliver it straight to my door and we had it made and it was really simple assembling. And once it was assembled, I had a place to sleep. Another great thing about this bed is that even though it doesn't look like it's really tall, it's actually tall enough for me to stow some of my luggages and my suitcases and some miscellaneous things under. So definitely if you have no space for anything, invest in a bed that will give you space to put in luggage because a great thing, a great trick that I love is actually putting the opposite season's clothes in a suitcase so that I'm able to store it and then just change it out without having to go all the way home and dealing with even more luggage problems. So yeah, that is my bed. Pro tip number four is actually about your closet. So just earlier I talked about stowing some extra clothes inside a suitcase and hide it under your bed. Now this is my actual closet. Um, because I actually live in a one bedroom with an office, I got the office and that didn't provide me with any closet space. So I got this rack from, you guessed it, Walmart. And this rack is actually pretty big. It has wheels and it's great. 
And one of the things I actually really like about it is that it's actually pretty strong. For the price you pay, you don't think that it's going to be very strong. But check this out. I have this huge drawer just sitting on top of those bars. And this is one heavy drawer. I have my undergarments, my loungewear, and my gym wear. And then at the bottom drawer, I just have all my um, tools and excess um, makeup beauty products. Then over here to the side, I have my little travel backpack. Um, this backpack is actually where I put all of my liquids and it's great because I'm able to switch things out um, when I want a cuter bag that's a backpack and it just keeps all my liquids in one place and I don't really have to worry about struggling to find a place for them. And finally, that leads me to my favorite and last piece, which is this accessory holder DIY. Let me go ahead and zoom you up for a bit. So these are actually from Corkboard, and these Corkboards came in a set of four from, you guessed it, Walmart. And my housemate took the other two. What I did was I had these doorknobs sitting at home, so I actually poked the nail part through the cork board, which is super easy because cork is really soft, screwed on the doorknob and then it was ready for hanging. I would actually prefer if I got to use hot glue to just glue the knobs on and not deal with the nail at all. Um, but I didn't have any hot glue with me so I didn't have any other choice. But because that creates an uneven surface in the back, I did have to nail down my cork boards. Um, but obviously if you were able to hot glue it on, you can actually use command strips and it should hold up just fine because, I mean, come on, it can hold up an entire curtain. Um, but the thing is, if you do decide that you want to use nails in your dorm room, you do not hear this from me, but honestly, at the end of the year, just use some white toothpaste to fill in the holes because most of our dorm rooms are white anyways, right? And they have to repaint the room anyways and it's honestly not very easy to tell that there was a hole there to begin with, as long as it was a small enough hole. So like for example, these little nails, they can probably work and you can just put on some toothpaste and no one can tell the difference and you won't be charged. Um, at least that's what I did, I'm a rebel, I know. But yeah, so I just really love how these turned out because I feel like not just as an accessory organizer and holder, it's actually really an accent piece that I can put right above my bed and I've gotten compliments on it so far and I absolutely love it. So, and guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me comments down below on what you think I can do to improve on this video because, again, this is my first time doing this type of video. I'm usually just vlogging and showing you around um, my way in Frankfurt and Zurich and wherever else I end up going. Um, but yeah, so I hope that. I was able to give you guys good tips and tricks from when I was in college, which was 10 million, 10,000 years ago, but it's okay because it still kind of applies, I think. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys soon. Bye!